back here with another video. Quick shout out to the boxing community online through YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all the other social media avenues. Uh, we just um, basically getting the news here today uh, that we have the deal done between the parties of WBC, WBA, IVF and IBO middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin and the mandatory challenger in the WBA who's holding the uh, regular middleweight championship, Daniel Jacobs, uh, will be on Saturday, March 18th on HBO Pay-Per-View in Madison Square Garden. Uh, they were able to get the deal done. Pretty much, uh, you know, through Friday and today, uh, Saturday here, uh, right before there was going to be a purse bid that was pending for Monday, December 19th. Um, I'm very glad that this is happening. Uh, of course, been waiting for uh, Golovkin to have a opponent like this uh, at the other side of the ring. Uh, there have been... A lot of criticisms of Golovkin's resume up to this point. Uh, he's been there at, you know, 35 years old, uh, going up against guys, you know, like the Dominic Wades of the world, the David Lemieux, um, among others, Curtis Stevens, uh, Gabe Rosado, who moved up in weight to fight him. Um, you know, getting the... WBA uh, World Middleweight title uh, back in 2010 against Nelson uh, Tapia. Um, and so here he is here with his uh, first actual test. I, 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 I don't see these other guys that, you know, some people bring up as, you know, actual tests. Uh, a lot of people want to bring up the likes of Matthew Macklin and Martin Murray. Uh, as guys that he's, you know, fought and beat. But, you know, Macklin and Murray, while they're okay, they have never been world champions. You know, um, yeah, Ma Matthew Macklin, Matthew Macklin back in 2013, um, you know, he's had fights against, you know, the likes of uh, Felix Sturm and, you know, Sergio Martinez. Um, and lost to those guys, and you know, back in 2006, he he got knocked out by Jamie Moore for a British uh, super welterweight championship. So he really has not had any uh, period where he's won a world world title. So somebody like a Matthew Macklin on Golovkin's resume. And a Martin Murray, who was on Golovkin's resume, doesn't really, you know, tell me that much. I mean, yeah, you you have him there at, you know, middleweight, but both of those guys, you know, lost to Sergio Martinez. One of them lost to Felix Sturm, and one of them got a uh, a uh, draw against Felix Sturm. So. You know, those guys on Golovkin's resume doesn't really uh, tell me much. Um, also, with David Lemieux, that really doesn't tell me much either because David Lemieux at that time just won the IBF World Middleweight t title against Hassan and Dom, you know, pretty much four months earlier than that fight that he had against Gennady Golovkin. Uh, before that, that, that he didn't even, you know, win a world championship you know, by then. And yeah, yeah, he's fought, you know, other kind of notable guys like Gabe Rosado um, and uh, Marco Antonio Rubio, but he lost uh, Marco Antonio Rubio as well, uh, did David Lemieux. So to me, fighting somebody here, the likes of Daniel Jacobs, is going to be uh, Golovkin's biggest fight by far. Um, you look at Daniel Jacobs in. You see that he's, you know, fought Sergio Moore twice. He's fought Peter Quillen. Peter Quillen was, you know, one of the highest rated uh, middleweights at the time um, and did hold a world championship 
at one point uh, before he fought Andy Lee and uh, couldn't even uh, defend the title then because of, um, you know, him being actually overweight before that fight. But a lot of people bring up that fight against Dimitri Pirog where he got uh, knocked out by a Pirog. Um, and it's funny that they, they kind of bring that up when, number one, that's been six years ago. And number two, he hasn't lost since. Number three, ever since that fight, he's knocked out every fighter that he's fought against. So, bringing up somebody like Dimitri Pirog that was happening in 2010 is really funny to me. When not a lot of these people want to bring up the guys that Gennady Golovkin has fought and defeated and, and actually looks at the resumes of those notable guys that they have actually fought. You you bring up somebody like a a Dimitri Pirog against Daniel Jacobs, but you don't bring up a Dominic Wade um, that, you know, um, Golovkin fought earlier this year who really hadn't fought anyone up to that point and was basically awarded that number one contendership uh, for the, I think it was the IBF uh, title. He was the number one contender in the IBF title, um, and he was elevated to that position because uh, someone else was at the uh, number one spot but ended up uh, losing it. Uh, so Dominic Wade actually was elevated to that spot. So you have, you know, guys like that where... Golovkin has been able to fight, uh, and you have this, you know, his recent fight against Kell Brook was welterweight, moved up from welterweight uh, in order to get this fight. It was a money fight, nothing more, nothing less. Um, and Golovkin actually took the fight, even though he said specifically um, in April that you know, potential Kell Brook fight wouldn't happen because Kell Brook is too small, and yet he turns right around and uh, gets that uh, fight against Kell Brook in England because, hey, it was $5 million, uh, I think, that he was uh, able to get by fighting in the O2 arena there against Kell Brook. So, to me here, this is actually a fight against Daniel Jacobs where he fights a middleweight, an actual middleweight that's a top-ranked middleweight that's one of the top, you know, two or three middleweights in the world. And he's able to see if he can uh, be there one-on-one -on -one against Daniel Jacobs and see if he can score this win. A lot of people have been waiting to see if Gennady Golovkin would be able to fight Canelo Alvarez, uh, but now... Seems like here this this uh, Daniel Jacobs fight is going to be a very big fight and a very good test for Gennady Golovkin. And actually, I have Daniel Jacobs as the winner of this fight. He's going to pull off the quote unquote upset by defeating Gennady Golovkin on March 18th in Madison Square Garden, uh, representing his home town there in uh, New York City. So, Daniel Jacobs, I have him stepping up, calling it right now, upset, Daniel Jacobs over Gennady Golovkin, March 18th. So, be on the lookout for that.